by Leah Marie. I feel, am I looking into my camera? For those of you who haven't seen the show, let me explain what's going on here tonight. We're broadcasting live from QATV Quincy. The phone lines are open and free, and you can call and ask a question. I'm here to bring both insight and understanding into personal and professional matters. I can't promise you that I'll give you the answer that you're looking for, but I can promise you that I'll give you information to look at the matter from a perspective you might not have thought of. I must stress we all have our own free will. Tarot is supposed to be informative, but also fun. That being said, I'd like to introduce um, my two special guests. Um, I have John on my right, or is this my left? Left. This, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I have Kip on my right, or is this my left? That's right. my both my both lefts, but yeah. you know what? They're both right. <laughs> the so um, tell let's. You, I don't know if anybody has seen this show before, but they've they've been on the show before. But why don't you introduce yourself, Kip, and um, tell everybody? Sure, I'm, I'm Kip Ellis, and I'm a uh, reverend and high priest in the Cabot Kent Hermetic Temple. Uh, I've studied uh, the practice of witchcraft for several years with Reverend Laurie Cabot uh, in Salem, Massachusetts. I love Salem. Call it a Salem. <laughs> and John? Yeah, my name is John Nickerson, and I am a um, priest in witchcraft, um, and I am also part of the Cabot Kent Hermetic Temple. Um, and I have been studying um, witchcraft for a few years now. Okay, so um, they're going to supplement the readings tonight. Um, so we have a caller. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Tell by Leah Marie. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Um, do you have a question, or do you just want to? Uh, we have a couple of people here tonight, so I want to give everybody a chance. Um, what What is your question? Just a card, if you can pull it. What's that? Anything on the love. Okay, so I'll, I'll pull a few on the love and then I'll pass it off to Kip and John and, and see what they pick up for you. All okay. Right. I'll pull a card, just I'll pull love advice and then I'll let them do um, predictions. Okay. All right, so let me just pull one for advice. I'm just going to pull it right off the top since we have a hands here. Well, uh, uh, I, I feel that um, when it comes to love, there's going to be some, something new, a uh, new opportunity in the love department that's going to be coming into your life. I feel um, out with the old and in, in with the new and, and something that you've been um, waiting for. So I'm going to pass this off to who, which one of you would like to go first with what you think for her for love? Mm -hmm. No, I think there's definitely new beginnings for you as well. Um, I think it's kind of um, basically um, breaking through, you know, the ground, um, working your way up. Um, you know, you definitely have new beginnings, so it looks good for you. Okay. Um, you have a very, very strong uh, father figure around you who has wield wields an incredible influence on your perception of relationships and love. So you may know who this person is. It doesn't necessarily mean a biological father, but this person has a father-like demeanor and influence in your life. Uh, I just want to say that you have a very strong will and you are very much about trying to achieve and, and make manifest the, your desires. So if you agree with this father figure's advice, that's great. But if you don't necessarily agree, just remember that you can make possible the things that you desire. Okay. Do, do you have any other question you want to ask? Or? No, that's great. Thank oh, you. All right, good luck. Bye. Um, so let's talk a little bit about while we're waiting for another call, why we're here. So today is, what, what is the holiday? Who wants, which one do you want to? It's, uh, well, traditionally called uh, May Day, but actually in, uh, for many cultures, and certainly among the Celts, we refer to it as Beltane. Can we show a graphic of, uh, now this graphic um, is of, who, um, the, the, can we show the graphic sure. of the uh, golden? Uh, um, it's Bellinos. Bellinos, okay. And uh, Beltane or Bell's Fire. There is he is. Oh, that's interesting, huh? Technically, Beltane is one of eight, uh, what uh, witches celebrate is one of eight Sabbaths in the year, and it happens at the midpoint between the vernal equinox and the uh, summer solstice, which is the brightest day of the year. And uh, among the ancient Celts, uh, they really divided the world into the light half and dark half of the year. And the light half of the year arrives on May 1st. 
Oh, okay. So, so that's it's, it's pretty much the, like, the first day of summer. You could consider that. Yeah. You know, oh, really? November okay. 1st would be the first day of winter. So what's the difference between June 21st? Isn't June 21st the summer solstice? That's the Correct. solstice. That's and the brightest day of the year. That's yeah. when the sun's that's at its longest. And May 1st and is... It starts going into its darker side. It starts to decrease the sun. So May, May 1st is the actual day when it starts to get lighter it's again? It's the start of Celtic summer, the light okay. half of the year. Okay. Okay. And uh, it, it will reach the peak of brightness at the summer solstice on the oh, 21st. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And you probably said that, but I sometimes need so things. Halfway we out. Reach, yeah, we so reach like the halfway midpoint out. at a Maybon, which is the autumnal equinox. Oh, okay. All right, well, we have a call. Hello, Carly. You're on the air with Tower by Leah Marie. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Oh, I'm, well, I'm fine. My name is Dennis. I'm calling from Los Angeles. Woo, Dennis. Uh, hi, how are you? So you got the timing right. This is exciting. We have an international caller. Well, not international. <laughs> international. Um, <laughs> um, so we have, I have special guests here tonight. Um, my friend um, Kip and John, and they're from the Cabot Temple. So what we're doing is you can ask a question, and, you know, we'll all give you our answer as to what we think is going to happen. So what, what would you like to know about, or what topic? Well, actually, I was going to find out about myself and see if you have any, any reading as far as uh, my future. Oh. I'm actually from Quincy, but I'm here at, on work assignment in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. That's why, that's why I know about you. Actually, uh. I've actually been in Q, QATV. Okay. So uh, I, I just actually wanted to see, because my future is a little uncertain. I figure you can give me a, give me a hand. Well, you may say your future's uncertain, but I, I'm pulling some very, very positive cards for you. Um, I feel that right now you're coming into your own when it comes to skill and, and mastery of all the knowledge that you've acquired um, over, the, over your lifetime, really. Um, I see a wonderful, um, like the essence of creation, like you creating new opportunities for yourself, really being able to draw on your skill and, and being very victorious. So whatever, whatever troubles you have going on, I mean, the wish card is here wishes coming true um, I feel that uh, don't give up because you're you're right about at the finish line to be achieving all the dreams that you desire so I'm gonna pass this on to which one of you is getting the vibe for us Kip what are you seeing for this gentleman well I pulled I pulled three cards so let me just say that it seems very apparent to me that uh, I don't know why you took you out to Vegas but California. it would appear hmm? California oh I thought she said California, yeah, Los Angeles. Hollywood. Oh, Los Angeles. Hollywood. I'm sorry. Hollywood. Um, in any case, uh, not, not for show business. Okay, no, no, no. What I'm saying is that uh, it would appear to me that you're uh, you're searching for a, a reason or thinking about a journey has come to an end, which means I see a resolve in whatever it is you want to do, which is positive. Uh, two other things that I I pulled. Uh, I definitely see a few challenges for you. Uh, the Temperance card showed up, which to me indicates. Uh, really finding the right balance of things for yourself, but I'm yeah. picking up very positive energies from it, which means to me, I think you're in a really good space right now in terms of making some really good choices, uh, particularly in regards to things that might be emotional. Uh, I don't know if you have had a, a loss in terms of the end of a relationship or even uh, the end of a job, but I do sense that you might have had a little bit of a disappointment in the either uh, physical realm or potentially in the emotional realm, but yes, you're uh, very right. Okay, spot on. Uh, so were you, Leo Mary. You were very, very right. Okay. Well, I, I, it's definitely clear to me that these things are ending or ended, which means that you're in a good position to spring forward with new growth and new beginnings. Thank you. Thank you. John, are you getting anything? <coughs> no, I actually, kept um, pretty much said everything right on. You know, I think. Um, you know, that just kind of justified, I think, for him. So, yeah. so what about so what's going <coughs> on? Are you going to be starting a new business? Is there some is there some way? Because for me, I saw you just generating a, like a new opportunity for yourself, or a, like being very creative. What is it that's going on? Or if you well, well, I live in Quincy, yeah. and actually, I came out here. I've been out here for six months mm -hmm. on work assignments. Okay. And basically, I'm a, I'm a, uh, in IT, and there's a couple of companies that I work with here. And more or less they're done, and I don't see any kind of premise here, so I'm, I'm deciding to come back to Boston. Right, but I feel that that's going to be uh, whatever you're wishing for in terms of if it's to get back home, maybe start your own business or get with a new company, it is going to happen. So I wouldn't Thank feel you. any worries about it at all. 
Yeah, that's that's what I'm worried. I I'm wouldn't I'm worry the because cause the cards are so positive for just you're a very skilled person and you know you you're people you're going to be sought after for your expertise and your skill. So don't worry about it. Yeah, you have had Thank loss. You, you have had losses, but the losses are ended. So yes. you can move forward. Well, welcome home. I can't, well, you know, you'll have to stop by and say hello when you get back to Quincy. Okay, I'll stop by, yeah. Uh, all right, good luck. All right, thank you, for everybody. You're welcome, good luck. All right, God bless you all. Thank you so much. Um, it is kind of nerve-wracking, though, um, when things come to an end. I think all of us as human beings, when things come to an end, there's apprehension. And there are those of us that are, get excited about it, and then there are those of us that get nervous about it. I'm one of the people that gets nervous about well, changing when makes things. People nervous. Yes, yeah. uncertainty makes people very uncomfortable. Uh, and yeah. uh, but for him, I saw all wonderful things. In the yeah, yeah. You I guys think saw new opportunities. I, I feel even well, I he's done his own business. So yeah, I mean, justification and you know all the things that are right. With that I right also now, so. well, I also saw a lot of losses. So there's been a lot of things that are like he's ready to really move on from it, mm. but definitely there was uh, some, he's experienced some losses. But also I think his journey is ending, so he has a lot to look forward to. I think he's reached well, a yeah. real result. I think there was a lack of um, team playing ship, you know, well. within what he was doing and stuff, especially being in IT, I think. But, um, but he's in California. I mean, you can't get a new bed. Better than that, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're karmic, in this yeah, a liberal Hollywood. The, the karmic <laughs> irony. <laughs> <laughs> the karmic irony <laughs> of uh, the oh, we do? Yeah. Hello, caller. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Who is this? This is Leah Marie. Hi, Leah. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, good. So we got a couple of uh, guests in the house tonight. Are you watching the show? Yes, I am. I love you. I love your show. <laughs> Yeah, I was, um, you, I called once before and you told me like I was worried about the hospital and stuff like uh -huh. that. Yeah. And you told me not to worry. You said you're not a doctor, but don't worry about it. I'm going to come out fine. I went into the hospital. I had an operation. It was in touch and go, but I made it. Good for you. So thank you for that. Well, I'm glad you, well, you're here, you're calling in, and, and you know, you made it so that's a sign to your strength. Thank you. And, and I, I love your accent. Oh, it's Scotland. I love it. <laughs> you know, it's May Day today, yes, so, it's you know, Celtic. it's a Celtic holiday, so it's very, very perfect that you called in. Yes, so, I just want you to know about myself, about a reading. Okay. If they could see anything about me or anything. All right, honey. I'll just pull three cards and just give you a quick reading, and then I'll pass it on to Kip and um, John and let them uh, give their thoughts, too, as well. Oh, I would appreciate it. All right. So let me pull three cards just to see what, I, what I've got for you. That's a good one. I, I, uh, for me, I see good news coming to you. Um, oh, good. Very, very good news. Um, a little bit of money coming your way as well. So I don't know if you're waiting on a, a check or some no, sort of that's payment. No, good. <laughs> but yeah, I do see news. I see a little bit of money coming your way. And I do feel a, a partnership or a compromise. So I don't know if there's something going on with you with a, a male or you know a family member or something. But I'm feeling like a, a, a good partnership and a compromise coming through. So. Um, no. So that would be um, just a, a good partnership and sort of a compromise. Um, so all good things I see. Like I see, I see good news coming through, a little bit of money, and relationships are going to be very smooth and going very well for you. What do you see, um, Kip? Oh, John, John, we both pulled the same card. Yeah, we pulled so the same. Yeah, it highlights, I pulled it. There's, there's a highlight of a relationship here, so well, I don't know what's going on. I pulled. The relationship. I see a new part. Totally yeah, yeah, I know you see totally different cards over there. Um, oh. But I think within, um, yeah. like, well, definitely like a new partnership. I mean, there's some something new. Um, whether it, you know, partnerships can be about all different things. A new friendship actually forming, opposed to. Not necessarily a love relationship or even a business um, thing, but there's going to be some type of um, a connection, you yeah. know. Um. Yeah, I mean, I said, but if you see something opposite, say whatever well, you feel. Well, I was going to just offer you a couple words of caution, uh, and the caution would simply be that right yeah. now. 
uh, right now the energy that I'm picking up from you is that you you really have had uh, some real um, um, emotional uh, uh, issues that have come up, and a lot of your emotions have made you really yes, look. Yes, that's true. Okay, have really had you looking inward. And you know, there's a fine line between protecting yourself with emotions and going overboard and being a little too self-realized. Uh, uh, my suggestion would be that I, I see that you are in a, a good space to kind of move beyond that. So be sure to allow yourself to be open so that you don't close off your heart uh, to opportunities. Uh, I'm also picking up that there is a man around you He's definitely probably a fire sign and definitely a fiery personality. And I think there could be some issues that if you stay too inwardly focused, he might not want to be around you too much. So um, just remember to keep your heart open. What's going on with like relationships? Is everything? I don't have anybody in my life. I don't, I don't go out much. I stay home. <laughs> Well, I'm seeing, like John and I said, I am seeing some, whether it be a friendship or something is going to be highlighted. Uh, and also, with the cards that are surrounding it, with it being news, to me it would feel like you're going to hear from somebody, um, whether it be an old friend, male or female, that's going to come back into your life, whether it be a phone call or an email, something uh, out of the blue. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to lift your spirits a little bit. Oh, good, yeah, because I just lost my brother-in-law. Oh. Yeah, he went in for, me and him were very close, and um, I could call him for anything. And um, he went in for a test with diabetes. Oh, and no. he had stage four cancer. Oh my and god. And he didn't even know. Oh my god. Well, I'm so sorry. That's that might be why I have the, the star card. Yeah. You know, you basically you're looking up to the stars a lot. Um, I kind of like, I guess you could say stargazing. Yes. You know. Um, you know. I, that's 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 the whole thing now that I'm looking at them is that t t he actually to you. He walked on water to you. You know. Yes. Um, now was he a landscaper? Or did he work out in the? Um, was he like a, a manual person type thing? Like, did he was he a contractor of some sort or? Like he a, worked in the shipyard. Okay, yeah, he was a hard worker. He worked really hard for his money. Yes. Yep. We well, were definitely heartbroken by the loss, and I can see this strong focus inwardly on emotions as you've been processing through the grief uh, associated with this loss. But the but the important thing about it is is it's okay to grieve and it's okay to recognize the loss. Just remember that you have to keep your heart open because friendships and healing can come to you through connections with other people. Right. And it's important to remember okay. it. It's, a, it's all right to grieve. It's okay. But it's also important to remember that you can, you can come to healing uh, through contact with others. Yeah, that's good advice. All right. And I, I mean, aside from the loss, I mean, I, I know that that's all encompassing now. I do feel that you are going to get good news and there's going to be a lot of positive coming into your life and I do feel a new friendship coming your way um, that's going to, because sometimes I feel like when people you love pass on, it's they watch over you from heaven and it feels like things come into your life and I feel that it's from them, like when my uncle passed away, like uh, a year later I got this beautiful new apartment and I felt like it was a get, like something that was from him, you know? So these new these new relationships that are sort of uh, going to come into your life, it's it's like they're they're gifts from the people who love you in heaven, just wanting you to sort of reach out and and have the comfort and the companionship that you need. You know what I mean? So you're not so lonely. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, he. I mean, he helped you when he was here, and he's still going to help you where he is now. Oh, really? Um, you know, he's going to make sure that you know, he's he's you, you'll be taken care of. He's going to do what he can. To make sure of that um, so like I think I think definitely a friendship from somebody from your past is going to come along and sort of lighten your mood a little bit that's what I see okay oh I just thank you so much and God bless you God all. bless you too honey thank you so much Lisa all right thank bye you bye bye, -bye. bye. Um, yeah, you, that, that's what you were, you got that. That was that's there, what, yeah. you know. It's, I, 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 I think was, when it comes in after, like, well, you, you well, see no, it. No, I mean, I know. just was trying to keep my mouth shut because you guys were seeing the positive and I right. was picking up a lot of this real lost stuff. So right. heartbreak and the whole work. So, you know, it's a two-sided 
coin. Unfortunately, those kind of bad things come, but at the same time, you can move on from them, and uh, it can be a hard process. Yeah, I mean, you can suffer, but there can still be good things coming into your life, too. So uh, I think that represents the, the both sides of what's going on, is that That's for me, I saw you know her reaching out and having new friendships that might not have been there before, and you were picking up on the loss, loss. And, the, and the grieving that she has. But And you picked up, you saw a little bit of both, I think. You know what I yeah, mean? It's yeah, it's very interesting. Um, it always is interesting, I think. Yeah. You know? But through the, you know, through Doctor's Light and then uh, right. vice versa, you know, there's always the opposite, you know? Right, so, right, right. I mean, Two sides. That's, yes, that's, of course. Yeah. And I try not to read Polarity, anybody else. you know? Yeah, I try not to read anybody else's throw, but it's hard not to win. I'm well, what is it about, about, I say <laughs> about the karmic <laughs> thing about loss and things going away is often the things we wish that would go away just seem to linger forever. Yeah. And the things we do not want to lose seem to disappear, particularly when we don't want them to. Well, that's why the saying goes, the hardest thing to do is make somebody stay when they want to leave or leave when they want to stay, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? Especially in yeah. relationships. All right, we'll, we have a call. Hello, caller. You're on the Air Tower by Leah Marie. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. So, um, you're watching the show. You know, I have my special guests. Yeah, I love the outfits. I know. Aren't they <laughs> phenomenal? Well, I hope you're talking about mine. No. <laughs> these aren't outfits. What are these? These are our robes. 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 And Very they, nice. And they have um, Thank you. beautiful um, pins, and the pins are... Totems. Totems, okay. Yeah. Symbolic of just as you energies, uh, sp spirit, light, uh, different colors, different uh, particular totems that we're drawn to mm -hmm. uh, in doing our psychic and, and magic work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so I could get a totem too if I wanted to. Yes, of course you yeah. can. So, and feel free <coughs> to um, get your own totem if you want. But so, do you have a question or do you want what's going on? Um, just, I, I have a couple of questions, actually. All right, so why don't we start with one question. I'll pull a couple cards, and then I'll, I'll let, you know, we'll just let uh, Kip and John tune in, and then we'll, you can ask your other one. Let's okay, I'm trying to sell my condo, okay. and I wanted to see what you had to say about that. All right, so let me see if this condo is going to sell. This, you know, and if anybody has conflicting, you can, we can, so it's okay. All right, what I see for the condo... I don't think the condo is going to sell that quick. I think it's going to it's going to take some time, uh, but it will sell. I feel it's just going to be delayed. So, um, not when you not when you want it to. Do you know how long? Um, I think like September. Oh, was, okay. I was going to say ar ar around 10 months from yeah. now. Ew, it's been on for a long yeah, time. Yeah, just uh, listen, you're going to have to really keep everything in check and balance here in terms of your finances. And your emotional uh, will to sell this place is very strong. But I tell you, you've got to juggle here and keep on top of everything. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel there'll be, uh, you know, there will be some interest. Um, I, I feel that a couple will be the will be the ones that wind up wind up buying it. Um, I I say conservatively, um, like nine. That's where I got, you know, nine like September, but it could be nine nine to ten months, like you say. So um, definitely, it will sell, but it's just it, it is. It's going to take some time to find the right the right person for that. All right. Do you think I should rent it out? Um, I do, yeah, why not? Why wouldn't you if, while you're waiting for, uh, let me see, let me see if I get a positive card for rentals. I, I, you I may have so. already decided you want to rent it out. I'm not sure about that. Well, why don't you want to rent it out? Are you nervous about <coughs> tenants or? Yeah, definitely. No, there's nothing to worry about. I'd say rent it out. I think it'd be good. I think it'd be positive. And you know what? You never know. The person who rents it out might wind up being the one who buys it. That's, that's what, true. That's the oldest trick in the book. Let me tell you something. My friend Mike lived at a place, okay? Every six months they put it in the market. I said, Mike, nobody's buying that place. That's what she does to go try to get people to buy it. Then she's going to take it off the market six months later. So what you should do, you should do the landlord's trick. You have somebody in there, and then they're in there six months, and say, you know what, I think I'm going to sell it. Then they'll get all nervous, and maybe they'll buy it. Because that's what they do. That's, that's what people do all the time. True. But I think rent it. I think that would be good. I do. Okay. Cause, what? Why not? Don't worry about tenants. There's, there's nothing's gonna happen. I don't. I don't feel any damage or, or anything would be wrong with renting it. What do you guys get? Do you get a positive vibe off, off rental or? <coughs> do you? 
Well, uh, I could certainly pick up your anxiety about feeling like you would prefer to keep to yourself about this. Yeah. Are you trapped with money of some sorts? I mean... No. No? I say rent it. Do you guys want to close the book on this one? Or ask yeah, the next I mean, you've, got nothing, yeah, I think that's you've got nothing to lose, you know. I mean, it could be a beginning to a good start. Um, it's just going to take a while. Yeah. She's worried. You're, too wor you're, you're worried. You, you have your mind set on selling it, but it's good that you're open to another idea. And, you know, I say just, you know, I, I say it's going to take some time to sell it, so I think renting it uh, looks positive. So, Okay. Um, w do you have another question you want to ask? Um, I was just wondering if you've seen I was, if I was changing jobs. Okay. If well, I, see, gonna, oh, I, okay. Well, I definitely see trans um, you know, transformation coming up um, of things. So... <coughs> I'm not job. necessarily sure. Um, I, I definitely see a change in the, the kind of wheel of fortune, which indicates there are probably forces at work. You may have some opportunities, some new opportunities to present themselves. In fact, I definitely see a new opportunity, which means I think whether you decide to take it or not is your choice, but uh, you might definitely be presented with an opportunity for a new job. I okay. see a big power, power struggle going on at work. Um, and I see two, there's two men in particular um, that are sort of uh, pulling the strings. Um, yeah. So, um, but the <coughs> card is for compromise. I mean, y you know, you could change jobs if you wanted to, or you could stay if you wanted to. Um, but like, I see like a lot of power, power struggles going on at work. What's going on with that? Yeah. Is yeah. There are you there? Is there someone that actually might be um, of authority has more to you, but you have the more of the knowledge and the education and stuff? I think is what um, I, I I'm picking up. Uh, okay. Changes are definitely a foot. Uh, I think uh, for a threat. A, a foot. A, a foot. Meaning oh, a foot. Okay. Uh, for, forewarned is forearmed. So mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to be defensive. But I think the important thing to realize is that change is inevitable, and there's right. change coming. But I think that there can be some really good things come out of it, and I think you're going to find a great opportunity. Uh, so you can look for uh, things becoming a little unsettled in the next while. What's the power struggle on going on at work? Like, who are the two male? Do you have two male bosses, or what? No. I see two men around you when it comes to this. When it comes to work. Okay. Uh, two males and a female. So I don't know if you work with a lot of people. Usually. Oh yeah. Usually these people have influence. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when multiple people show up in the readings, it, it talks about a lot of meetings, a lot of. Um, events and, and things of that nature with associated with the job. Um, so I, I feel there's, there's two men that are involved in the decision making as to it's whether the you... It's man's world. Well, <laughs> whether you stay or whether you go, but I feel that you liked at your job. There's a woman here, and I don't know if it's you or I don't know if it's another woman, that has a very sharp tongue um, and um, is somebody that a um, little bit negative. Um, however, the majority of the cards are positive, so is it that you want to change jobs, or is it that I you think it's a good opportunity. Yeah. I There's an opportunity that's come your way? Yes. You seem to have a lot of different um, things on your plate, um, and I think given that you're unable to focus completely on just like one thing at a time, you're trying to balance everything at once and it's just not working out for you, um, you know. But just make that decision with sticking to one thing for right now, whether it be trying to find a new job or trying to sell your condo, and you know focus on that on that one thing first. You know, mm -hmm. do just do one thing at a time because your energy is go, going all over the place, um, and it's just very emotional. Well, I have a lot of energy. Yeah. Well, are you sure this 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 opportunity is going to be a lot more money though? No. No, no, it isn't. Because I don't see any money at all. It's driven entirely by emotions. And in fact, <laughs> uh, you. That's what the, I have all you, money. Uh, the, the appeal of this job, this change, is it, it, it's, it's like something that has like been a, a wish or desire for you. And, and you really do see it as from an emotional standpoint right now. But it, you view it very positively. And in fact, if you decide to take that job, uh, you're going to definitely feel victorious in having. Uh, had this opportunity come along. Well, it's something I always wanted to do. I can see that. Yeah. It's really not about the money. It's your passion, it's your love. I mean, that's the lover's card. You have, an, you know, it's, it's a love, yeah. 
Um, I, th I mean, if you don't mind me it's asking, a wish come true. yeah, I mean, what is it? Yeah, you know. because have you gotten a lot of like awards or I mean achievement levels within this job that you're at now? Um, I would think so. Yeah, I mean, I think you do. I think actually you're more. Um, you're gonna be a I think teacher? yeah, I think you're more qualified for this position than the people that are there right now, and I think that's part of what the problem is. Um, and well, I can still keep my job and do this other job. Well, well see, so there you're putting more things. <laughs> you can't keep you know having all these cups half filled. You know, you've got to focus on one cup at a time, filling that cup. You know. Um, you know, why not just say, forget about selling the condo for right now, take it off the market, love it, live in it for a while, and focus on this job. And once you're Oh well, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you know, and then, you know, one thing at a time, I think, for right now, because there's definitely, you know, that's, I think that's the right thing for you to do right now, to be honest with you. Um, and just give yourself a break from all that, you know? Yeah. So the new thing is creative. Creative and travel. Oh, am I traveling? Is it is it creative and traveling and doing all types of stuff? What is it? What, the job? Yeah, what's this great thing that you want to do? It's something I've always wanted to do, so there's opportunity here. Well, you don't want to tell me what it is? No. Why not? That's not fair. Uh, sorry. <laughs> why is it such a secret, though? Like, why, why is it, why can't you? I'd rather not say, but it's something I've always wanted to do. Are you looking to open a business? No. No. Well, let's let's see if we can piece this together here. Since that's my next venture. Little little <laughs> miss, joking. Little Miss Secretive <laughs> doesn't want to tell us what it is. Let's let's see if we if we guess what it is. Will you t will you tell us? We got, we got to sure. take all the little threads okay. and try sewing it together. All right. Let's see if we can guess. I'm gonna give everybody hmm. a, a try. This will be what we want. Um, something that she's always wanted to do. Can um. Something that she doesn't have to quit her job for. I'm going to say lounge singer. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah, karaoke. karaoke queen. No, no. Um, let's see. Do you want to guess? No. No? Oh, he's not going to guess. Are you going to guess? Hmm. Why don't you want to guess? Use your intuition. I want to see. What you don't think she's going to tell us anyway, do you? I think it's no, something to do. but I, you know, the thing about it is. A is traveling that, nurse or something? I mean, tra something to, I mean. Traveling it's not really traveling. No? No. Would you be in your car a lot? Because I see a sure, car. Sure, yeah, it'd be yeah. very yes. busy. I, I mean, see a chariot, car. Yes. I, I mean, see a car. You're going to be... Courier. Courier or service. Or I could walk. She's going to start her own courier service. No. Yeah, you guys are way off. She's going to start... You cool. guys should work at the Tilt the Kilt. <laughs> <laughs> Tilt well, I'm going to be in charge of the Tilt a Kilt okay. in Quincy. And, and what the all, hell is the Tilt a okay, Kilt? Gonna, now we're getting insulted. I'm going to totally hang up on her. Okay, well. I can't hear you all talking at okay. the same time. Hang up. No, oh, have, what were you saying? I was going to say, I, I actually want to head in a totally different direction. While this opportunity is great emotionally, I actually just want to give you some uh, suggested words of caution. I think there are some substantial changes that are underway in your life in regards to employment mm -hmm. and you should be prepared for the prospect that you could suddenly find yourself without that job yeah okay so I think that which I've considered also okay yeah so uh, it's important because when I saw you really needing to balance things over the next several months before the sale of this condo is completed I think it's really important that you have a strategy and a plan to be prepared for those consequences should they happen. It yeah. doesn't mean it's going to happen. I'm only here to give you information to help right. you. Well, well, I think from what you've said, I'd rather concentrate on the job instead of the condo. Right. I think the condo will roll around when it's time for it to sell. I think right now I wouldn't focus my energy or worry about you it. You should focus on the job because if you lost the job, well, she could rent out the condo for the uh, she, yeah. income. Yeah. But yeah. Where are you living now? <coughs> Excuse me? Where do you live now? Quincy. I know, but you don't live in the condo? No, I'm in the condo. Oh, oh. okay. So you're going to rent it out and go where? I don't know. Oh, oh God. Y your mind's everywhere. You really... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I have plenty of places to go. You're a daydreamer okay. and a night dreamer. <laughs> well, good luck with your new well, job. It's good, good, to be dream it's good to be a dreamer. It is. Okay. You All might well, say I'm a dreamer, guys. but I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, have a great night. You too. You too. I hope okay. someday bye -bye. you can join bye -bye. us. Bye-bye. See, if we couldn't get it. We probably wouldn't have been able to get a read on her anyway because she's...
closed. He's well, like, I, oh, I don't tell think me she what it is. She wants. I don't want to tell you what it is. It's a secret. Oh, like, why is it a secret? Tell us what it is. I want to know. It's just nonsense. Yeah. She's going to lose her job. She's going to lose her job. I said the same thing because. Well, maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Let's all put that no. negative out there. Well, it's not Especially negative, since but. Especially she's still watching the show right now. No, <laughs> it's okay. Just said, it's it, nothing bad. I mean, it's, it's cautious. But when you have that type of attitude, though, it shows. It's your aura. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, whether you have the, the achievements and the people that are there don't, when you actually rub that in your boss's face, it doesn't matter. It causes conflict and interest. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to cause her to actually look like the bad person, even though she's really educated and smart, you know? So it could backfire. Well, what the hell is so the tilt to kilt anyway? I think it's a store she wants to open up. I think she was talking about this, these things. Yeah, she probably like was. A kilt. Tilt but to kilt. A kilt a skirt. It's not a robe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be wearing it around my waist. <laughs> Somebody's got no underwear on. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you, never not know what we, you never know what we're going to have right. underneath here, right? Um, do we have a call or should we go? Oh, we do have a call. Hello, call. You're in the air tower by Leah Marie. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I don't know if I have a couple of questions or. Well, you don't I'm have gonna... you don't have to have a question. We could just pull a couple cards and and just see what what like we see coming up for your future if you'd want. Just do like oh, a, that would be great. Do like Thank a little you. prediction type of scenario. Okay. All right. How so, are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? Good, oh, thank good. you. All right, so let me make a couple predictions. Pull a couple cards. A couple predictions. Um. Well, <clears throat> I see good things. I feel that you're going to get news. Uh, someone's going to be having a baby. I do feel news. Uh, you're hearing about a, a, a friend or somebody that you know, um, family, relative. Um, uh, upcoming birth is going to be uh, something new on the horizon. Um, I also feel that um, there's going to be a big decision coming around your work um, situation. Um, I also see that you're going to be getting a lot of a lot better control into your life and sort of um, uh, becoming being more grounded lately. I, I feel that you're going to be making some big decisions. Um, sticking to it and just sort of uh, having the mental uh, wherewithal to, to achieve the things that you desire. Okay. What do you see? Well, uh, interestingly, I see a, a brand new beginning for you, so I'm not sure what you're thinking of doing, but you're going to start out on something really new and it's exciting and it's something you have not done yet, so I think oh. that that's very positive. Uh, I also see right now, I'm not sure what kind of the, the, the circumstances around uh, a loss have been, but I definitely mm -hmm. see you really uh, emotionally fixated on something that left or, or someone you lost or something you lost. And the only word of caution I have about it is to say, you know, you still have a lot of other things in your life and there are other people. And don't forget that you've got some really good people around you and some really wonderful emotions surrounding you. So don't I get too do. okay. Don't get too focused on whatever went away, <laughs> which I think. Um, is I was laid off a while ago, so I've sort of been unemployed for and quite a while. And you've been thinking a lot about that, about those losses. I can see it. And uh, the, the third thing I was going to tell you, you didn't have to tell me about that loss, but I definitely see that you've been in a frame of mind that you really feel like you're not the kind of queen or that you have the, dom the dominion over your world that you actually feel you should have. So I'm hoping this is a sign collectively, I'm gonna say that there's a very great chance that a new job opportunity will be here for you and that you'll be able to step outside of these things that are kind of lingering around <coughs> you like a cloud. Okay. I do too, I feel a new job opportunity coming too. Yeah, new growth, um, lots of transformation, um, but you have the, you're, you're wise enough to know um, with this change, you have all the information already with inside of you. Um, so I think the fear, um, you know, could be a little bit more overwhelming and stuff at times as, as far as change, but I definitely see a, a, a lot of transformation, like big change, but it's also new growth and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's decent, you know, so. It sounds very positive, I love it. And what about relationships? Is there a, you got a, are you married or do you have a boyfriend or somebody in your no, life right I'm, now? No, I'm single. Okay, so let's see what we can 
Well, we can pull on the love front. Are you are you interested in dating somebody who might be, you know, late 40s? Yep. Oh, you are? Okay. Because we have somebody who's in the back <laughs> that's single, uh, <laughs> and uh, he's 49. Is that, so you're, is that you're, too old? You're changing him during ratings to matchmaking. Uh, <laughs> he's nice, oh, nice well. guy, goes to church, very good father, good son. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> what do um, you think? Was your last relationship, did you put a lot of trust and um, a lot of merit into that relationship and then pretty much get, you know, um, destroyed with that? They take your, obviously uh, that always happens, but as far as taking your heart um, and just leaving you behind, you know, picking up, leaving you pretty damaged in a way. Yeah, maybe a long time ago, but it, you know, it's been a long time. Well, it's time actually, uh, to move on, you know, and actually rebuild up yourself because you have a lot of strength. You are the queen of um, your own throne, you know. Um, are you a Leo? I am. Yep. Good. You're definitely in charge. I mean, you have a real sense of sovereign uh, dominion over your emotions right now in terms of who you are or how you self-identify. You're very magical. Yeah. Um, this sounds great. <laughs> no, you are. You really definitely have a lot of, um, you know, it's <clears throat> it's your time now. You know, it's um, it, it's definitely take the bull by the horns and go with it, you know. Um, today you know, is I've been feeling like that. Jeff, well, do you yes. want to come like in it. here? Jeff? Jeff? You don't want to come in? <laughs> Would you really be interested in, in meeting somebody? Seriously? Would you want to come in the studio? On a Wednesday night and uh, meet meet Jeff. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, why not? How old are you? Oh, I'm not saying. Well, I know it's. I shouldn't ask. It's how young. Yeah. How young are you? Right, 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 yeah, right. But you, you, don't, you don't. You don't have. Nice. Yes. No, but I mean, he's like get in his yourself. late forties, so I, you just know, get once yourself. Around, put some lipstick on. You age. know. He wants to know. Do you drink? Socially, yeah, she drinks socially. He's he's talking. She's gonna say every he's night. He's talking to I, me a case in, of wine. in the uh, <laughs> every night a box of wine. Yeah. No, he talks to me. An uh, Chablis. Pack. He's talking to me in my earphone. That's why I'm repeating this. Um, how can we get your? Do you want? Why don't you want to email me? Yeah. I'll okay. It's tarot by Leah Marie at Yahoo. Okay. It's, it's or AOL, whichever one. I like Yahoo better, but do, do is, is it that Yahoo or AOL? Either one is fine. Tarot by Leah Marie at either Yahoo or AOL, and maybe we'll you know set something up. Do you have okay, a cat? It sounds good. Do you have a cat? No, I I don't have a cat. No, you need one. I I had a cat long time ago. I have a dog. Was it oh, is it a black? It is. Uh, blue black dog. Oh, well, maybe you might get a new bed warmer. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's I hope funny. the doggy shares the bed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Hopefully, if all goes well. No, I see love. Email me. We'll see if we can hook this up. You never know what can happen. Okay, sounds great. All right, good luck. Yes. Thank you all oh. so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. You never know. Stranger things have happened. This is what Beltane is all about. Is and it's actually, it's about fertility. It's about love. Um, you know, it's about things, you know, growth. Um, so everything's... Not the kind of growths that you got to get removed, though, right? No, no, no. <laughs> growth, not growths. Because <laughs> we don't want any of those kinds of growths. You know, Do we everything's being reborn again. You know, you notice all your trees. And it seemed like it happened overnight. Let's show yeah. the picture of the fire and talk about the bonfire. That, oh, that Bell's fire. Bell's fire. My arms are white, like wicked white next to your robes. Um, so what's what's this all about? Well, a bell's fire, they call it, um, is a ritual of cleansing. Um, they would say, actually, um, back in the day, you would um, have these big, huge bonfires, and you would drive your cattle, your, you know, yourself. You would go through these, um, you know, you'd have fire on both sides of you, mm -hmm. and you'd go through it as a cleansing and a protection for, mm. you know, so that way that, um, you know, you're harvesting your crops, all that stuff would be, you know, full flourished. Oh, okay. yeah. It's really to burn away all the old negative energies left from winter mm -hmm. uh, to prepare you to really flourish and, and uh, enjoy the physical realm, uh, the blossom of new life and summer fertility. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're looking to, uh, to have a baby, 
uh, or uh, growth in terms of love, uh, finances, uh, the physical plane, really, all the things that are important in our <coughs> life experience in terms of our body. You plant the seeds now, and by you know October you get to reap what you've sown. You know. I like it. All right, so we have a call. We'll call you in the air tower by Leah Marie. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. So you're watching the show? Yes. Enjoying it. Oh, good. I'm glad. Do you, do you have a question? or? Yes. I would like to know if you could tell me what's going to happen in the few, near future for my children. For your children. Right. I'll pull a few cards and see, and then I'll, I'll pass it along to um, Kip and John. Um, I keep pulling the same news card. It's like everybody's getting the same news. Oh, that's great. I do see a little news. trouble around one of your sons. I don't know if he has a back issue or something going on with that, but uh, I know you said you're children, but this would be uh, particularly a male. Um, I'm feeling that um, he's just having, you're going you're gonna to need to be of support to him because he's going to be going through a little bit of a hard time. Ooh. Yeah, that with a, with the male. Um, is is there something going on with one of your ch sons or? No, not particularly. Okay. Well, he's going to be going through a little bit of a hard time. He's going to be coming to you and asking you for for help for uh, different problems that he may be having. So, just okay. be prepared to be a, an ear for him. What do you? Anybody is, else? Yeah, think I mean, that how many children do you have? Three. I have three. Three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You see three children. <coughs> I see I three do. children too. Yeah, and um, one of them's really like a fighter. Um, I don't know if it's you know a battle. I don't know if it's a battling with the, within themselves or other people or other th issues and stuff like that. But I definitely see um, the middle child. Um, having some type of um, personal problems, at least, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, whoever the youngest is, uh, is definitely about to uh, uh, have what I call a karmic ending to something that's been uh, either bothering them or something that they've been working to move out of the phase. And that's all good news, meaning that this phase that they've been in is going to come to a conclusion, which is positive. Uh, I also am picking up uh, uh, one of the children. I'm picking up a more feminine energy. It doesn't necessarily mean a woman, but it's definitely a kind of lighter, more feminine energy who has been really in, indulgent and in, uh, feeling very happy and experiencing some kind of real, you know, the, the fun, having fun, possibly even too much fun. Uh, that I, that person I could see possibly having uh, or experiencing the end of a relationship or the end of a kind of home uh, live-in arrangement, whether it's a marriage or a relationship, I could see that uh, coming to an end. Uh, the, a third child I see as about to, um, has the opportunity to actually take a, a really big new adventure, uh, potentially travel or moving away. Oh, um, okay. But at, at the same time, what's really interesting is this same person seems to me to have been a little withdrawn and more inwardly focused, but the good news is this opportunity is really going to bring them out of their shell. So you can look for them to um, kind of come out of um, whatever reason they've kind of been hiding or keeping to themselves. Oh, great. Now, this, that one particularly is, um, is, is looking toward a new job. Do you think he'll get that new job? Well, I see the opportunity to, to uh, a whole new beginning in terms of uh, an experience. So it looks to me very positive that, yes, uh, well, whether they take it or not, I can't tell you, but I can see that the opportunity is there for them to take this job if they want it. Great, great. Any other question? Um, uh, let me see. Um, my granddaughter is looking for an apartment. Do you think she'll find it? And who's the Libra, the female in your family, the girl? Libra. I'm not sure what month that is. That would be October. Late September to mid-October. Um, my son was September. Hmm. Um, any I think he's a Virgo. I see uh, a card which indicates a woman 
really feeling good in her surroundings and feeling in, in control and empowered. So uh, I, I could see her landing in the situation she wants to be in. So if she wants it, I, I see it. But I don't see any problems with that. No, okay. yeah, she's got a, she has a strong man behind her. Um, Great. Do you see me finding a job? Finding what? A job. A job. <laughs> Work. Was there an adoption in your family recently? Uh, no. I don't see a job anytime in the, within the ne next six weeks to two months. I'm not picking up any employment just yet. Um, you want a job, you're feeling, I'd like a better term, a little heartbroken about it, but uh, I definitely see a sense of, um, you're really focused on the energy of bringing in money into your surroundings, but I, I don't see them being aligned right now. Yeah, it's going to take some time. Okay. All right. Good All luck. right. All right. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about, we haven't gotten to see any of the fairies, so why don't you pull up, uh, any pick, pick one uh, back there um, of any of the beautiful uh, fairies that were sent. We can sort of talk about those because I want to at least see one of them because, <coughs> oh, what's that one? That one is, um, well, they're all elemental, um, you know, what we call fae or fairies, you know, whether or not they're either an earth um, representation, a fire, water, or air. And I, that one is actually an air. Um, oh. So that's, a, um, you know, I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God, no, I'm trying to, like, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> I picked the wrong one. Can no, we see that's that's right. Right. Hey, I want to see that guy that looks like a lion. Put that one up. The lion one. The one oh, with yeah. the hooves. <laughs> He's actually of, um, the, of the north, a fae of the north. They've actually... Um, He's a what? A fairy. I think oh, we call him fae. Okay, fae, 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 yeah. He's yeah. the Viking one. He could be. Yeah. Yeah. What is he that? Would be the, he would be your land. Um, there are, there's all different types. There's um, like water sprites. You know, not all fairy... Um, so what's this one? If I saw this one, I'd be scared. What, yeah, well, what, no, what? What? I mean, some people are scary too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I saw anything walking with a hoof and a tail and a beard, I guess I'd want to run the other way. But that's well, nothing you know, I haven't ran into with the Bali well, night Yeah, one. describe this one. Which one? The one that the one was on the screen with the yes. hoofs. H hoofs. The fairy from the north. Um, th that would be like an, um, a, a nymph, they call them. He's a nymph. And... Um, those are ones that dwell on land and stuff. The, there's an old Celtic story of um, the people before the time of um, the human. There was um, the, the what we would call the fairy or the fae. You know, <laughs> it's I'm so funny, but you know, to, I, I don't know how to <laughs> no, say I'm it. No, just because it's to up dead Dananan. What the hell and does this guy do? Like, what 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 does this fairy represent? Like, in terms of what will he bring me? Will he bring me anything? Well, you know, though, th they can bring you magic. I mean, and okay. they can take away your magic. It's all oh, just that an offering. Like take away um, magic. Uh, the Fey operate in a realm which is slightly different. It's uh, it's within the physical plane, but it's a different plane than the one that we live in. And so we uh, humans have long had mythologies about uh, uh, fairies or the Fey. And in fact, many times people have seen them or seen evidence of their doing things like whether it's uh, misplacing objects you had out in front of you a few moments ago or helping you with little things around the house. And, uh, you know, you can welcome that kind of energy. Uh, it's important to, if, if you do notice any little happenings around your household to say, you know, well, thanks if you help me find something. It's like the, the fairy tale with the, uh, the shoe, the shoemaker, who the shoes got the made. The cobbler, yeah. 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 We do have a call, so let's see if we can take this real quick because we only have five minutes left. Hello, Call. You're on the air at Tower by Leah Marie. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Um, I was just wondering, um, I just started school again, and I was just wondering if you could tell me anything about it, because I've been getting nervous about it a lot. You started school, you said? Yeah. Okay, so let's see how this school, college? Um, something like that, Is yeah. Is it a, a trade school? Yeah, um, I'm going for an EMT. Yeah. yeah. I see very, very uh, positive around it. Okay. Um, oh, wow, yeah. You know, I, I feel that 
it's going to be a little bit tough um, just in terms of um, you have a lot going on in, in terms of balancing everything that you have. Um, and financially, I do feel a little bit of a strain. Um, yeah. But, I mean, there will be challenges, but you'll overcome them, and it's something that you really will love doing. That's what I feel. I feel it's, it's very, very good for you. And I, I almost get the sense of a surprise around it, like just all of a sudden you decided this is something that you wanted to do. Yep. And um, you're going for it, and uh, I think it's going to turn, turn out well. What do you guys think? No, I see the same thing. I think um, it's, you know, you've kind of been, um, are you a shy person? Pretty what much? was that? Are you shy, more reclusive to yourself? Um, no, I would say opposite, kind of. Really? Well, I, I see you being successful in completing school, and in fact, uh, I definitely see you're being able to accomplish on the physical plane the things that you're desiring, which are all positive. Uh, just uh, don't uh, don't let your anxieties or worry about school make you become overly selfish and focused. Yeah, that's 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 okay. definitely the problem. Uh, yeah, well, I see it, and let me just say, I I, I see that some of your judgment, uh, other people around you are going to think that you're really making mistakes or you're not doing the right thing because they read that selfishness in a negative way, but that's not to say that all your decisions are bad. Just be mindful of the fact that when you become overly or inwardly focused it can make you appear to be doing wrong things to others around you, particularly people who care about you. Uh, one other thing I'll say is that you definitely have a major uh, ending of one phase of your life and a new beginning will be coming. So it could be that one of your reasons you've been looking inward is you're ready to make some big changes. Yeah. And that's okay. Okay, good, thank you. Well, I hate to cut it off yet yeah, because we only have a few minutes left, but good luck, Maybe I hope I don't see you. That's all. Yeah. I see you. It means right. I'm going to need an emergency. <laughs> an thank ambulance. You. you stubbed your toe. Yes. So <laughs> I don't want to see you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. So that was fun. So we have two minutes left. Is there any, any, let's, let's talk about um, the, the temple and let's put the website up. And um, so what is it that you guys would like to end with? No, that actually just stands for the Cabot Kent Hermetic Temple. It's a, um, a nonprofit organization. It's a recognized um, uh, 5013C. It's, um uh, we, we conduct eight uh, Sabbaths a year. And uh, you can go to the website and read more information about what it means, uh, what witchcraft means, and what it's about, and find out the dates of the uh, Sabbaths. They are in, uh, conducted in Salem, Massachusetts. They're open to the public for anyone who comes in peace. And you're always welcome to join <coughs> us. Yes, yep. come in peace. They're really a good time, um, you know. Well, I'd like to say thank you to, you know, um, Kip and John. I keep, because when I look here, You're over he's there. over yeah. there. That's why I, I was <laughs> I, getting confused. I, I throw myself yeah, off. Yeah, I was looking, wait a minute. So, but I'd like to say thank you to everybody who called in and, you know, uh, let us, you know, read your fortunes. And I'd also like to say good night to my three sweet little angels, Brenna, Ava, and Arthur, and I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. And thank you to John and Kip for thank coming you. in. Thank you. Yes, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So anyway, I'm just gonna. Oh, there we go. We're all set. That was good. I thought that was.